What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology. The Titans action spawning in the red color on super fast speed. Oh no. His name is Rapple and he is playing as Oranos. His opponent today in the blue color playing as Hades. His name is Kvothe. The map is Mush. And these are some super, hyper, mega, competitive, random. This is competitive, mega, random, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the players are somewhat excited about this tournament coming up, I must say. Lots of people are practicing on this map, trying to get a hang of it, seeing what the, uh, the, the specialties of it are and how they have to kind of play to, to find victories on this map. Uh, as both players are going to be scouting out, we do see some uh, some some Borg here for for Kavoth as he wants to figure out exactly what sort of a map he is, and he is finding out very early on that this is going to be that kind of watering hole esque map with the with the water here blocking off off the side there. There's going to be water up to this top position over here, and there's also the water on the other side. Not exactly a mirror type map, but pretty close in terms of the map layout. It's a pretty interesting one, nice and defensive. Sometimes it does spawn very, very little hunt. The way that I'm, I'm not sure if this is just my, um, uh, how, do you, how do you say it? Uh, this Like my imagination or not, but it feels like when you see this map, you kind of know that it's gonna have a little amount of hunt on it, or it's gonna have a lot of hunt on it. Uh, I mean that's obviously every single competitive mega random map, but the um the the way that the the way that the 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 random map generator works is I believe it works off a seed system. So if it hits like I don't know map number one hundred and twenty five, that would be this map, and that seed is also gonna have no hunt on it, right? Or if it hits map one hundred twenty six, it'll be this map, but it'll be this this thing. So if you get this map, you kind of have a a, a random amount of knowledge about it though that could just be my imagination it might not be the case uh and i guess if you just run a whole bunch of instances of this map you might kind of work out how things are actually going but okay. go they're going to be finishing up the only hunt pack on the map wrap over on the other side here he is uh currently what's he doing i'm not 100 percent sure what his plan is here it kind of looks like he's going for a far second town center, which might be a little bit dangerous here, just because you know your opponent's got the four ball start. When you go for this, you know they've got the four ball start, which means you know they're going to be hitting that uh, classical age at the at, at the earliest. It's going to be a three forty eight, right? Uh, but 402 is a very, very respectable advance time. 416 is a very respectable advance time. Even 430, you might get into some trouble here if the Hades player decides to get aggressive nice and early and trying to stop that town center from going up. We do see the citizen making his way up onto this position. There is an anvil of Hephaestus here. And the big question is going to be, what sort of an advance time is Kvothe actually going to get? And it looks like he's going for a 430 here. He might decide to get himself out an Ajax here uh, as he gets one more villager and decides to actually go for that. So no Ajax coming out. So Rappel is getting away with this far second town center opening quite nicely as the uh, Athena going to be coming through, the Ajax not coming out to go and harass. If we take a look over at Rappel's perspective here, he does have an Oracle relatively close. He does have two Citizen on this one. So take a look at when this Town Center could be up. Now, let's say Rappel is on uh, with, his, uh, with his scout here is being incredibly active. Uh, or oh, sorry, not Rappel, Kavoth is being incredibly active with this Pretty scout. Stick, and it's scattered out the Town Centers and sees that Town Center getting up. 402 hits, Ajax comes, that would probably... Minotaur is already making its way across the map. This town center here, that would be denied 100% of the time, every single time. And Rappel would be in a very, very bad position. However, Rappel is still got a little bit of balls left. He's on the chicken, his main base. He's got a decent amount of cows here. He's actually taken the villagers off of golds here in order to ensure he can advance nice and fast. Needs to get himself that temple down as well. Kavoth comes through and he does spot that temple is on the way. Super, super, uh, super, super late there, which does mean 
He knows what's coming for him as this town center is just about to get up and uh, Kavoth's advance time is going to be too little, too late. He's got his Ajax, he's got his Chiron, he's got his villagers moving over here. I would prefer to see this town center grabbed because, well, many reasons. This wall here is beautiful, but with this town center going up here, due to this town center going up for Rappel, uh, he would have this position completely secured, which would mean that this, town, this gold one over here and this gold one over here, much, much more secured than otherwise. Obviously, the town center here does give a bit of a defensive position to be on this gold mine here. But I still think this forward town center would net a lot more advantage as the units of Kavoth are going to be making their way across the map. Rappel already on the way to the next age here. He's up 40%. Uh, this relic getting left here for the moment. Anvil for Vice. This is a great relic. It's a big economic uh, assistance for uh, for any player playing Age of Mythology. Uh, as the citizen starting to pop out here as well. He's going to have so much economy. We do see the mana getting dropped down. But the village is just simply going to get pulled back. Jump on to these cows and be in a good position there. Thank you for the 11 months, Viper, for the with the Prime there. Appreciate that, my friend. Uh, as we do see the Katoska boss coming around here. That's going to get a little bit of damage done by that town center as it does pull away. No problems there. Citizen gets pushed off of this boar for the time being. So there's the classical age. Has been hit six minutes into the game. Counter barracks coming down. Kavoth now has got two town centers himself. He's going to be pumping out villages. He's got a whole bunch of cows there, but he will have to be farming here. So he's going to have a difficult game getting going, but there's really nothing that he needs to defend. So he doesn't really need to get military units out anytime soon. As we do see these oracles getting sniped down. Rappel don't really want to be losing these all too easily. They are very, very useful units, only costing... A small amount of resources, in all honesty, to uh, to convert into heroes and have them join your army uh, can be a really, really good usage against that Minotaur, for example, to take that one down. You don't have to do it straight away, but at some point you're going to be in uh, with a lot of uh, you're going to be in with a lot of resources there to see the cows all getting sniped down. That might not seem like a lot of damage, but it really is. Let's look at these Chiron and this a uh, this Ajax just coming in doing so much damage. The Oracle gets converted there, unfortunately as uh, Rappel wanted his Terma to be converted, just the Terma to be converted there. And now we do see Kavoth going to be retreating away. Villagers jumping onto these guards over here. Farms coming up on this location as well. Doesn't yet have himself the plow, but lots and lots of wood and gold in the bank here. As I'm sure Kavoth is going to be wanting this town center. Imagine if he did this in the reverse. Town center here, wall here. This town center would be free to grab at this point if he had the food. And he would be in a great position. But now, he has to somehow defend against the Terma. They're going to be coming through. So he needs to put a military academy down, an archery range down. And the ordering here is really making Kavoth's game that little bit uh, too difficult here. That little bit more difficult. As Rappel at this point, one great idea here for Rappel is going to be just build Terma and go for a very, very quick heroic age here. Uh, now... All he has to do is keep an eye on this and force units out, and that's going to mean that Kavoth is not going to be able to also do that semi-fast heroic, which can be very, very important as well. But uh, you, you've got to be careful when you go for these semi-fast heroics. Great snipe there from uh, from Rappel. Does get in front of that Ajax as well, getting some good damage done as it does retreat away, but uh, the damage has been dealt there. 140... 100, well, even more damage. 116 HP remaining there. Nice play from... Uh, from Rappel there, just getting that little bit of damage done. Uh, next stage for Rappel is to just get a little bit active with those turn, but trying to snipe villagers off here, maybe even using a shockwave if you can uh, to make that happen as a couple of units are going to be coming through. Gavoth is not going to be aware that Rappel here, he's only got the one military building. You can see the armory is coming up here for, uh, for Rappel. He is going to be heading to that Heroic Age, and the Heroic Age I want to see him go here. Uh, might sound strange, but I think if you go to Town Centers, you got that extra favor. Early two sound is that town centers that is you get that extra favor. You can spam out Sate here, and they are really really strong. As uh, Kavoth also getting that girdle of Apolita relic there, increasing the Toxody Chariot Archer and throwing Axeman and uh, Arcus hit point rating there. That's absolutely huge. Where that's uh, where that's concerned. As the citizen coming over here, jumping onto that gold mine, and we'll see. Uh, if Rappel can get anything done here, but 
Gavoth at this point just seems like he's going to pull off that wood line. He's got a nice and safe wood line over here. He can get watchtowers at any point. We do see the unit starting to move across the map now for Gavoth. He wants to find some damage here. He knows that there's a timing that Rappel is going for. Rappel does not yet have himself watchtowers, so this army can just push in and do a crazy amount of damage here to Rappel if he's not too careful. He's no longer building units. I wouldn't mind seeing some Kyra Ballister just as a defensive measure against those hoplites, but look at Kavot's army. It's marching straight in to that home base here. He's checking the town center out over here and he is going for that main base. The Terma is still bopping their head in here, not really seeing all too much. More units coming out here for Kavoth. He needs to get a couple more houses out. Economic upgrades, he's got himself hand axe, pickaxe. He's got all the upgrades he needs for the time being. As the Kavoth army coming through, gonna start targeting down this sentry tower as the Terma getting sniped down over here as well. And we'll see if uh, Kavoth can break his way into this position here uh, or not as Rappel getting himself up a couple more military buildings over here three military barracks on the way we do see the manor under attack here uh, Rappel in a bit of a panic here as both of his towers not being secured early means they've both gone down and this kind of defense of the main base is going to be just that little bit more challenging as the term is still just hanging back trying to snipe units off as they move across the map but look at all the farms down for Rappel his food is about to start uh, really, really going upwards here in this game. How many farms? Nine farms are up here. And does he have plow? He does have plow. No pickaxe. No, well, what's that pickaxe? There? No hand axe? No hand axe here, which obviously probably not, probably should be getting that one with eight villages. And, and he probably has a lot more on, on, uh, on the food moving forward. But he's been needing to pump out those villages here. Losing those uh, Prometheans there is not what he really wants to do. As we do see the Terma here getting okay. chased away by some of those hoplites. Great micro here from Rappel. Look at that uh, low HP Terma getting par or par blocking off there. Sniping the Toxodia there nicely as well as he's going to be pulling back as Rappel. He's still trying to get to that heroic edge and he does get there. But he does go through Thayer. I've said this already in this game, but I do think that in this matchup, one of the biggest, biggest advantages you can have is using the Satyr to your advantage. Not only do you get the Chaos to take out an Emian Lion and potentially a Chimera in the game, but those Satyr are so absurdly important as now we see an immediate tech into heavy archers here for Rappel. He wants to make Arcus. He wants to be making himself some destroyers here as well. I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, maybe like a really, really early, yeah, a really, really early heroic, age, a mythic age, excuse me, wouldn't be a bad idea here either from, uh, from Rappel just because he's got the resources to come in. He needs to invest a little bit more into some uh, some economic upgrades here. He's now got himself the hand axe. Is he going up any further? There's the shaft mine. So that's going to be a big, big help for him as well as the army of Kavoth is looking for a big, big fight. But now the Dryads are coming in. That's going to be another help. Is Kavoth getting a town center here? Answer is yes. He's pushed across the map. He's pushed all the units back into Rappel's base. He's taken control of the map here. He's going to be in a great position. The hard part for Kavoth in this game is the fact that he doesn't have that big natural defense of a trade route with that water uh, that Rappel, uh, that Rappel has. As we do see a restoration getting dropped here, the uh, Stymphalian bird's going to be re retreating shockwave to disengage. Uh, and this fight is going to continue uh, underneath this town center here. I wouldn't, wouldn't have minded a, 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 a Rappel, uh, Migdol Stronghold, no. What's it called? A palace here. Uh, a little bit earlier, but still not happening as the army coming through on that Chiron is able to take out those Stymphalian birds very, very fast there. Nice micro there from Rappel to pull away as the Dryad's coming through to snipe down those Toxodes as well. And Rappel is just struggling to produce at this moment. Kavoth is in a fantastic position here as well now. Three town centers. He's across the map. He is going to be kind of needing to retreat away from this position at the moment. At, in, if you take a look at the main base, he's got his farm set up. Armory coming down as well. He's got an eye on this uh, location. I wouldn't mind seeing some Ford buildings getting dropped down there as well. As I mean, what Kavoth could do actually here is pull his Toxodes back and allow that Chiron to just get all the damage done. Because look, those Toxodes really don't do anything against the... Uh, against the Dryad. So he could have just retreated that and allowed the Chiron to get as much damage as he wanted there. But Kavoth's still sitting nearly full population. Rappel has already clicked up through Hecate. This is a really, really quick Hecate here from uh, from Rappel. This is going to do a lot of damage. He's done a great job 
of getting there here, but now he has to kind of find the, the true advantage. He's got the Oracle on this position. I wouldn't mind seeing an attempt to move down here and force this position to be a little bit of a challenge for Kavoth to, to kind of secure moving forward because Kavoth, I mean, he's got the double gold mine behind his main base, but this does expire. And the question is, will he be able to come over onto this gold mine Secure this one and or not, that's where the big questions start coming as Rappel sending his citizen forward. This is a big, big misplay here from Rappel, but Kavoth not paying attention there as the citizens sneak through. He's going for the town center. Where is Rappel's army? It's coming in on this position. He's got the dryads out. The citizen getting caught out on this position here as the hoplites come through, gonna start getting some big damage done there as well. As the Ark is coming through, the dry, uh, Stymphalian bird's going to be raining those feathers from the skies. We do see a nice raid coming in here from Kavoth as well. Probably a little bit more of an attention to this position would have gone a very, very long way here, but not happening at this moment. We do see the Ajax retreating away, and... Uh, and the Arc is going to be securing this position as the mana goes down. The citizens retreat back. Now, Rappel here, he is 90% of the way through. Does he have a unit in position to drop this, uh, to drop this, what's it, what do you call it? To drop this Tartarian gate down or not? As the Stymphalian bird taking damage from that Chiron is going to be chasing this one away. Does manage to get through here. Will be able to find its way into the main base and get line of sight there as the army coming through here to try and deny this town center. Again, I wouldn't have minded seeing a palace here. It would have been up. would have been a defensive position here for uh, for Kavoth as Aphrodite comes in. Curse hits all three of those citizens. That is huge for Kavoth here. As the Dryads come through, going to be sniping this one down. We do see the uh, Symphalian Bird comes through, drops that. Tartarian gate down. If he was there a little bit earlier, he may have been able to deny that um, that free Nemean lion from coming out, but it doesn't matter all too much. There is a Lampady here. If Rapple's paying attention, and he is paying attention, that one's going to get converted there as the Lampady comes through, converts that one into a uh, into a Gaia unit there. Nice play. As the villagers coming through, going to start shanking this one down. But with this Stymphalian bird here, if you micro this, you're going to be able to take those villagers down even faster. That Chiron needs to get back over here to defend. This Tartarian gate is a big, strong building as well. With masons through, we do see the units still hitting that gold mine over there. But Rappel's got this gold mine here and this one on that position. So Rappel's in no real rush here to secure that corner. But he will need to get over there and start a trade route relatively soon. As the town center is now up. The problem for Rappel here is twofold. He doesn't have fortified town centers yet, and he doesn't have any palace up yet. Both of these things are going to be vastly important for him to actually hit this timing and get something done here. Because Gavoth, yes, he's taken a whole bunch of damage. He's still got over 60 villages in the tank after everything's said and done. The Tartarian Gate is dealt with, and Gavoth here, with this timer, he's set up the market. He's going to be able to put walls up. Rappel needs to secure the map and finds an advantage in this game. Quick smart. He does sniff out this gold mine over here, and that's going to be a big help here as well as the army comes through, going to start getting that damage done. We'll see how things do eventuate here for uh, Kavoth. Moving forward, Kavoth is now on this position. That palace is a big, big help, but maybe a little bit overzealous on the fire siphon at this point. Definitely destroyer first. Fire Siphon can come a little bit later. Tanking those Toxodes has to be your priority here. You're not going to be able to push forward until you've got those palaces set up around this position to give you that advantage. Uh, as we do see the, uh, the Fire Siphon will pop out. The palace here can get repaired back up. It's not too difficult there as the Fire Siphon is now out. We'll see if that one's going to be able to get anything really done here as now we see Rappel smartly changing into those destroyers here. The other thing here for Rappel is he's going to be able to start getting himself some more upgrades and there's the champion upgrades as well. Stymphalian Bird Raid coming in onto this position here as that Chiron needs to get dragged from one point of the map over to the other point, allowing these Stymphalian Birds to do massive amounts of damage in the main army. This is a great way to kind of pull the uh, the Chiron from one position to another so you can actually get good value here. Now, the Chiron will be able to get over here. We'll be able to deal with that Stymphalian Bird very, very fast. Very similar to the Rock, the idea with the Chiron should be and always should be right-click here on the Shadow, shift-click onto the Stymphalian Bird. You're going to be able to kill it. It can't retreat away when you're that close to it. Uh, and you're going to be in a good position there. As we do see a Fortress coming up. Gavot's economy at this point, though, 
it's struggling. It's struggling because he's not taking these great fights anymore. And that raid on that gold mine where Kavoth is being a little bit cheeky on it, trying to save his gold mines over here for a little bit longer. He's managed to, uh, to, to actually hurt himself more than he's saved himself in this game. With that Fire Siphon now doing a significant amount of damage, I want to see Rappel coming in, dropping more palaces down here. But this push is starting to look very, very scary here for Kavoth as those Arcus doing a lot of good damage to those Hoplites here with Champion Arcus. He can now start working towards those upgrades. He's actually got bronze weapons already, which funnily enough is now making those Champion Arcus a slight bit more effective than those Hades Heavy Toxodes. If he didn't have those Armory upgrades, his Champion Toxodes Toxodes would not be beating the Heavy Toxodes of Kvothe. Kvothe now in the Mythic Age, though, he's got himself access to Hephaestus. He still has to work out how to get in and deal with those Stymphalian birds. Uh, he has managed to deal with this one over here as the Chiron finishes that up there. Uh, and then he'll be able to bring that back in and try and deal with these bad boys up here. But is it too little too late? Kvothe loses his Town Center here. Rappel at this point, he's got himself fortified Town Centers. He's got himself all the upgrades. He hasn't set up that market in the corner yet, so he's not going to be getting himself that trade route, which he probably is going to need. If he can get this Town Center up, that is, uh, it's going to be a tough one for him because you don't have the economy really to support a 180 population uh, Uranus with only having... 25, 28 citizen with those, if you if you manage to get those three hero citizen out, you don't really have that economy. So you need to make a trade route to make that work. As this Stymphalian bird is sneaking through here, one thing is that this Oracle isn't quite, oh, is it? I think it might spot the uh, the trade route there for, for, uh, for Kvothe once it starts, which means that Rappel is going to come over there immediately and still no walls are set up. Great hero destroyer in here for uh, Rappel as well. This one might not seem like a crazy good unit, but it is super strong. It deals 700% bonus damage versus myth units, and it's 7.75 damage there. So that's 7 times 8 or 8 times 8 or something like that. 64 damage a second. Absolutely huge. As the Fire Siphon does manage to take down the Fortress here. Kvothe is very much on the back foot at this moment. Very little uh, economy here. He doesn't have fortified town centers. He's got, uh, he does have the gold mines back here for a little bit and the plenty vault. Uh, he doesn't have an underworld passage either to make anything happen. There's not, well, there is a town center in range of Dockfire, and you almost know that a player of Kvothe's caliber, he's already, he's got to be thinking about that already. He's got to be thinking about that already. In fact, he hasn't put a dock up here, which is a bit surprising. So maybe, just maybe, uh, part of the uh, part of the top level player thing is you only really think about these things on maps you know that it can be a possibility. So say marsh, watering hole, Mediterranean. You don't think about it on Anatolia. You don't think about it on on Midgard because it can't happen there. But on this map, competitive mega random, you don't think about it because you you just. You only played this map once or twice in your entire life. So, maybe, just maybe, Kvothe will work it out. He is sending some villagers around. He is trying to get onto this gold mine. But the military barracks are already up here. So we'll see if Kvothe is going to get this dock up. He's got the villagers queued up. There's a, boar that, a bear there as well. And this is definitely going to be something difficult for Rappel to deal with if he doesn't set up to defend against it. The villagers may have been spotted here or not. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but this dock will go up and then the uh, town center is going to be in for a very, very difficult time. There's no... Well, there are a couple of palaces close by. A fire siphon is your best bet with dealing with this before you get onto the water yourself to defend there. But this is going to prolong the game just that little bit longer in this one as the, uh, as the owl is going to come up. The citizen going to attempt to get this town center up themselves. Obviously, Kavoth not wanting to fight here is going to be investing resources and population specifically into these, uh, the, into this, into this naval Oxybilis technology and the baluster ships. But this town center looks like it's going the wayside of Rappel in this game. As Kavoth is going to have to try and work out how to figure this one out. He's getting himself those juggernauts out. I think he's gone for the juggernauts first and then he'll get the naval oxybilis. I mean, it doesn't really matter which way you're going to do it because he needs it to, to make anything happen. Uh, but 
Still no town center up for Rapple. He's taking his time. Palace first. One way that you could immediately deny this town center is actually to put a dock down here as well, forcing both players to actually go down to two town centers. If you can get some ballast to ships out or a ballast to ship out here, the seeds this down and prevent it from going up. Alternatively, just make a... Uh, uh, Heliopolis here. There's no rain, uh, melee units here, so that Heliopolis is going to be a very, very strong thing indeed. As there's the naval auxiliaries, it takes 40 seconds to come through. That's really not that much in the grand scheme of things, as the villagers coming in onto this position with the army pushing forward. Kavot trying to focus fire those Arcus here as best as he possibly can. But the town center is going up. The Heliopolis now is out there. That's going to roll through. That's going to do a lot of damage to that town center and prevent it from going up. But two juggernauts are now out for Kvothe. He is ready to hit this town center. Do we see Rapple with any inkling that this is happening? Answer, not just yet. But he does have the docks up here and he does have naval auxiliaries coming in. And guess what? This town center is in range of water as well. This town center is also in range of water, but this little pond here is going to be much, much more difficult to get onto. And I love this from Rapple, but just being offensive here, that's not enough. You have to be defensive as well. Where's the dock over here? As Kavoth, he's about to pop out those ships, or he has popped out those ships. He's also got that sneaky little advantage. Oh no. Do they not get over this water? Surely they do. Surely they do. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Now, obviously this is looks like it's traversable terrain. Is it the same over here though? No, it's not. It's a little bit of a bug there. Really, really hurting Kvothe's plan to come back into this game. And now the Heavy Siege Barim is in and will be sieging down this back town center of Kvothe. Rappel in full command here uh, as Kvothe kind of needs to move around and get a dock over. He does go for the transport ship so he can move around and get a dock onto this position here. He has invested quite significantly into the uh into that naval auxiliaries technology as this town center is going to go down relatively quickly if he doesn't re start repairing it he's also only got 500 gold left over here so he's about to be out of gold as well as the villagers make it over onto this side or just about over onto this side the gastrophetes do have burning pitch so they will be able to take down these siege barims relatively quickly uh and the question is, will we see Rappel able to get himself this town center anytime soon? Once that gold is gone, though, Kvothe has to get this gold mine up over here. Kvothe, at this point, has not got anything over there. And Rappel, he's played this game for long enough. He knows that there's a couple of ways to win the game. And one of the most important ways is gold control. If you just control all the gold mines, you'll find yourself a, a winning position. Uh, the fact of the matter, though, is that Kavoth, he's over on this position. He can actually sneak through here as well. If he can sneak around this position here and get over onto this gold mine over here, he might be able to hold on in this game uh, for a little bit longer. As we do see the Heliopolis coming over onto this position, Town Center will end up going down. Maybe it's getting very, very close. It's staying at 100 HP here. But the Heavy Siege Bream goes down. Only one remaining now, ladies and gentlemen. And it does look like Rappel will be able to hold this position for the time being. But while holding that position here, this is allowing Rappel to get this Town Center up for himself. We do see a Fire Siphon has come out there, but that's going to be no assistance here for uh, for Rappel, uh, though Rappel probably wants to build him, or sorry, Kvothe probably wants to build himself a ballister ship to deny this town center here. We see the dock is out. Now the ballister ships, the Oxy Juggernaut's coming out. Rappel, still no defensive measures set up here on that shoreline. We've got some watchtowers coming up over here for Rappel. However, that might not be enough. Mm -hmm. As the gas graffiti coming over, they're going to start sniping the uh, the docks from afar as the town center still denied. Not going to be getting up those uh, gas defeat. He's a little bit too strong there for Rappel as he is attempting to fight his way through. Bullwreck. As we do see some citizen coming out, they will be noticing this mining operation going on. As we do see a marker coming up for Kvothe. Kvothe opting to say, you know what, if I can't have the trade route this way, potentially I can have it the other way. It's the citizen very rudely, uh, a very rude shot coming in here for these villagers of Kvothe.
As Gavoth now getting the uh, military academy up, he wants to put some pressure onto that gold mine there. We do see the heavy heavy siege Barim is up there as well for Rappel. As Rappel yet again trying to get this town center up, it is getting close to finishing there. But the problem is, Kavoth, he's out of gold. Zero gold income here. He does have the trade route started, but that's going to be what it is. He's only basically got a plenty vault and a handful of donkey caravans, which is just not going to be cutting it here. As the Aranos of Rappel has bled this uh, Hades of Kavoth dry, the Oxy Juggernauts is in though and Rappel is going to be losing this town center so Gavoth is fighting here as hard as he can to find some sort of a uh, advantage in this game as the Ark is getting their shots down here as best as they can but it's uh it's being defended but only barely as Kavoth here I mean if you can put that Heliopolis in the front here it'll survive for a little bit we do see the heavy siege brims coming back in onto this position going to be hitting that town center yet again there are a handful of gas graffiti there to take those units out but and now we see the uh the the siege here getting targeted it's going to take a hot minute there to go down as the uh citizen getting cleaned up here and the town center looks like Kavoth is run out of uh out of steam here the fortress falls down. No attempt from Kavoth to come over into this corner either. He's got a whole bunch of villagers on this town center repairing it back up. 50 gold in the tank as it's slowly getting drained by the repairing. With the fortress falling as well, means no more Kiliopolis to come out for, uh, for Kavoth here. As Rappel just about to break through into the main base. And what else can Kavoth do? He's about to lose this town center as well. We do see a handful of those heavy Hippaspis going for the raids onto the gold mine over there, but uh, not going to be doing all too much. Meanwhile, Rappel, he's lost his town center over here, but he doesn't care because he is in the main base. He's taken down one town center there, and Kavoth says, you know what? The game is lost, and Rappel, too strong here, managing to break through. I do think that... I think if, I think if Kavoth... Did not get trolled by this water here with that. I can't even tell that this is not traversable here. If he didn't get told, told if he did get told that this was not traversable here, he, he probably wouldn't have gone for that play or he would have gone for maybe a dock over here instead. Uh, and he would have hit this towns and down significantly earlier. And that would have been a really, really tough position for Rappel to be in because Rappel is wanting to hold here. He's wanting to push over here, which means that potentially this position Ooh, would have been knocked down and Kavoth would have not only gotten these gold mines, but also secured this trade route that he'd set up uh, nice and early. Maybe he would have found a victory here, but... Nice play from Rappel, nonetheless. He played it well. He got the docks down. He got the town center down, and he, and he found the uh, the advantage where that's concerned. If you guys enjoyed this one, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next game.